Hey guys, it's Tracy from the Decorating Studio here at Wilton. Today I'm going to show you how to bake delicious roll-out sugar cookies that bake flat and hold their shape. And you don't need to chill the dough for hours before baking, so this recipe is a time saver. By the end of this video, you'll know how to successfully bake and store your roll-out sugar cookies. You can find a link to this recipe in the description box below, as well as a list of ingredients and supplies you'll need. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Let's talk about butter consistency. To get flat cookies, make sure your butter is at room temperature. It should not be too soft or melted. If your butter is too soft, the dough will be soft and it could spread while baking. And if it's too cold, you'll have little solid bits of butter in your dough. You should be able to press into the stick of butter and easily make an indent. It's firm, but not cold. Lightly soften is what you want to look for. If you're using the microwave to soften, be sure not to melt the butter. Also, be sure to use real butter. Margarine and butter spreads will give very different results. Now let's get started by making the cookie dough. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a stand mixer with a paddle attachment to cream your butter. Beat two sticks of unsalted butter and one cup of granulated sugar until fluffy and fully incorporated. If there are any unwanted pockets of butter, they will melt during baking and cause the cookies to spread. Next, beat in one egg. A cold egg will keep the dough nice and firm. Then add the extracts. Half a teaspoon of almond extract and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix until smooth. And now for the flour. Measuring your flour incorrectly is one of the biggest cookie baking mistakes out there. If you're measuring flour by scooping your measuring cup into the bag of flour, you could be using as much as 30% extra flour in your dough. That's going to make your cookies dry and tough. So don't scoop the flour or pack it in, just spoon it into your dry measuring cup. Check out our video on how to measure ingredients properly in the description box below. Add three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt into a bowl and stir. Cookies made without salt will have a flat flavor and may taste overly sweet. If you live in a high elevation area, you may want to experiment with decreasing your baking powder. Add the flour mixture one cup at a time, mixing after each addition. Properly mixing the dough will ensure the cookies don't get tough. Be sure to scrape the bowl at least once along the way as a dense, poorly aerated paste can build up along the sides. Left unattended, those denser areas can streak the dough and cause it to spread unevenly as the sugar cookies bake. The cookie dough will be thick and once it mixes into a nice ball, you're done mixing. Test the dough, it should be a bit sticky and hold shape but doesn't stick to your finger. Do not chill the dough. Divide it into two balls, then into a rectangular disc two inches thick. This will keep the dough from falling apart when rolling. The rectangle shape will help you cut more cookies out of each rolling. Flour the surface to roll the dough. Use a rolling pin with guide rings or use guides on either side of the dough such as lollipop sticks or dowel rods an eighth to a quarter inch thick. Set two of the same size dowel rods or sticks on the counter on either side of the cookie dough and roll over them. Sprinkle a little flour on the surface and on top of the dough, but be careful. Too much flour can make the cookie tougher and cause dry spots that trap air. You can roll the dough directly on the counter on parchment paper or wax paper taped to the counter or between two sheets of parchment or wax paper. Sometimes air can get trapped in the dough, so roll gently, gradually thinning rather than pressing too hard. Dough will soften as it sits and cause spreading, and dough can dry out and cause crumbling if it sits uncovered too long. Cut the dough immediately after rolling. If rolling on the counter before cutting the dough, slide an offset spatula underneath. This will loosen any sticky patches and prevent delicate shapes from tearing as you lift them out. It also removes the extra flour that can sometimes accumulate around the dough. Dip the cutter in flour before cutting. This will keep the cutter from sticking to the dough and ensure a clean cut. Cut starting at the edge of the dough rather than in the middle. This will help you get the most out of the sheet of dough. Press evenly on all the edges of the cutter. Slightly shake or turn the cutter and help it release. If you will be moving the cookies from the cutting surface to the baking sheet, cut close together to get the most out of the roll. Use a small offset spatula or a cookie spatula to move the cookies from the rolling surface to the baking sheet. Leave enough space between cut shapes on the baking sheet for the cookies to puff a bit when baking. For best results, use an ungreased baking sheet. If rolling out on parchment paper, after removing the excess dough, transfer the whole paper to the pan. Reroll the dough only once. The more times you reroll the dough, the tougher the cookies will be. 
Flour contains gluten, a protein that gets tougher and harder the more you roll and mix it. Bake cookies for 9 to 11 minutes or until center rises or cookies are just lightly brown around the edges. For a softer cookie, slightly underbake and allow to finish on the hot pan, but don't overbake. Cookies will be fragile when they first come out of the oven, so be sure to cool them directly on the sheet pan for about one to two minutes. Once they're firm, you can slide the parchment onto a cooling rack or remove the cookies from the pan with an offset spatula. Cookie dough can be made in advance when wrapped well in plastic wrap and placed in an airtight container or freezer bag. It can be refrigerated up to one week or frozen up to two to three months. To bake, remove from the freezer and allow to thaw overnight in the refrigerator. Then bring to room temperature for about an hour, then you can roll and cut. Or you can cut the cookies first when the dough is softer, then refrigerate the shapes. Wrap them and bake a few days later. Freeze flat on cookie sheet for two to three hours, then layer frozen cookies between wax paper or parchment in an airtight container. Freeze up to one month. To bake, place on a baking sheet, let stand about 10 minutes to come up to room temperature and then bake. To store baked cookies, layer in an airtight container with parchment or wax paper in between the layers. You can leave them on the counter for about one to two weeks, or you can freeze undecorated for about three to four months. If you want to learn how to decorate these delicious cookies, check out the links to our cookie decorating videos in the description box. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video with your baker friends and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a comment below on what other recipes you'd like to see on our channel. I'm Tracy from The Decorating Studio. Thanks for watching.